What's up everyone? Welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family, subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications so you know when I have new content. Okay, I am so excited for today's video. Obviously, we're back in the kitchen, so we are going to cook something super special together. We are going to try out a Gideon's copycat recipe. Now, if you're not familiar with Gideon's, Gideon's is a bakery located in Florida. A lot of Disney fans love Gideon's. There is a location in Disney Springs where you can go and get what is, in my opinion, the best cookie in the world. And ever since I found to Disney and tried Gideon's, I've had these cookies on my mind and I wanted to try a copycat recipe. I found a couple online and kind of just combined several that I found using things that I had on hand or could get at my local grocery store. Now, I will say this, I'm gonna put a disclaimer on the front of this video. Gideon Style is a large underbaked cookie, and if that is not your kind of cookie, this might not be your kind of video, but if you like this recipe, modify it to work for you. We all have different opinions and preferences, um, and that's a wonderful thing, so if you modify the recipe and you think it's even better, let us know in the comments down below. We have so many awesome chefs here in our community. I'm so excited to try these. Let's go ahead and jump right into everything you'll need for your cookies. All right, fam, so for this recipe, you're going to need eight tablespoons of butter. I used salted, but I'm thinking of using unsalted next time. A cup of brown sugar, one large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, sea salt, a cup of cake flour, a cup of all-purpose flour, and then three cups of three different kinds of chocolate chips. All right, that's everything you're going to need. Now here's the steps to make these cookies. All right, fam, let's get cooking. Start with your butter melted, but let it cool down a little bit before you add in your packed brown sugar. Mix it up, make sure it's really well incorporated, and you want to get it looking a little something kind of like this. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add in our egg and our vanilla. Mix everything up, and then add in your soda and powder. Now, I'm always really careful when I'm mixing dry ingredients into a mix. You don't want to have any little pockets of powder left. Mix it up really well. Then you're going to move on to your sea salt. And I just did a couple little twists on my sea salt just to get enough in there. Just a little kiss of it. Then we're going to move on to incorporating our flour. Now I went ahead and mixed up my cake flour and regular flour and added in it incrementally. Like I said, making sure that I didn't have any little clumps of that in our dough. Next, I mixed in a cup of our chocolate chips into our mix, and then we went on to forming our dough balls. Now, I didn't weigh or measure or anything like that. I went by sight and feel to get that signature Gideon's half pound cookie in shape. Then I used the remaining chocolate chips that I had set aside to just really press in to every square inch of the surface of these cookies. Now the hardest part about this is you do need to let these chill for 24 hours. I wanted to bake and eat them right away, but I promise you it's worth it. Let's get these in the fridge. Okay, hello beautiful, let's go. So these cookies are going to bake at a little bit of a lower temperature. I'm preheating my oven to 325. I have let my dough chill for 24 hours, which was so hard because they look so good and I just wanted to bake and eat them yesterday. But we're gonna let our oven preheat. I'm gonna go grab my cookies and we're gonna pop them in for 15 to 23 minutes and we want them to be underbaked in that chewy Gideon style. So I'm just gonna try and keep an eye on them and pull them when I think they look right and then we'll do our taste test. Another thing I wanna point out before we get these in the oven is I have let them all have some room. I'm hoping they don't spread too much because I feel like I have that perfect Gideon shape. We don't want them to be flat. A Gideon's cookie is nice and thick. Um, so I have spread them out to give them plenty of room in case that happens and you might wanna do the same. All right, we are halfway through baking now. You can see they're not spreading too much. They've spread a little, but um, I found one recipe that said just to push them a little bit more together once they come out. So. We'll see you in about eight minutes. Okay, so you can see that we have spread a little bit, which is okay. One blog I found said to take a spatula 
and just start pushing the edges to give your cookies a really nice shape. Also, they said once they spread, if they've got little bald patches like this of cookies, just to take any leftover chocolate chips you have and push them in. So I'm gonna go give our cookies a little more shape, push some more chocolate chips in so they've got that signature Gideon's look. Then we're gonna allow them to chill a little bit to get a little bit more chewy, then we'll do our taste test. Okay, so for a finishing touch on your cookies, you're gonna wanna take some sea salt and just really lightly hit the top of your cookies with sea salt. As you can hear, the party is already underway at my house. People are ready to sample cookies, so let's take them to everyone and see how they react. You wanna try a cookie? Yeah. yeah? Okay, let's go get it. Have a fork in an napkin ready just in case. You ready? Bag yeah. For your cookie, but um, you gotta go on it with a like shirt on. Yeah. Sure. But if you go on it with a shirt on, is that good? And just like for no. the first several yeah. minutes, you can almost like do you want more? And melt yeah. yeah. That's pretty awesome. When I tried it, okay, so I just did a taste test on the cookies. They are so, so good. Delicious. Close to Gideon's, but not. It doesn't have that same magic. But if you're at home and you need your Gideon's fix, this recipe slaps. This recipe will scratch that Gideon's itch. I wanna try and make them again in the future with vanilla bean paste. I just ordered some, so I'm probably going to remake them, but give me all your suggestions. It's so good, so delicious. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I had so much fun making these, and I'm super impressed with how they came out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. What do you think the secret recipe is at Gideon's? The owner has said that he's the only person in the world that truly knows the recipe. Do you think you know a little secret that I might have missed? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, a special thank you to my live chat crew who is here with me now, live chat crew. I love you so much. If you are looking for kindness, community, and friendship, please join me and my live chat crew as we're talking Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central here on my videos. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye!